Hey guys, I've got something really crazy to show you and I want to start off by saying that this video is just for entertainment purposes only. There's not going to be anything super useful in this. This is just something I came across this weekend that I thought was so funny that I had to show you guys. I hosted an event on Borderlands 3 this weekend on console and I added hundreds of people to my friends list and earlier today I got this really interesting email. One of the players that I added sent me some weapons and in the email I just accepted all of them not paying attention who sent them so I don't know who actually sent these to me but shout out to whoever did. They sent me some giant Malawan boss weapons. After doing some digging I realized that these are the giant mech robots weapons that they carry and shoot at you. They gave me six different giant weapons and I'll show you guys those and three of them I was able to identify which mech robots carry them. So I'll show you guys those mech robots and then show you how these perform and what they look like when you're actually holding them and shooting them. One thing that I thought was hilarious is that you can put skins on them. So right here is the psychedelic skin and this looks so crazy. These giant weapons are amazing for displaying all the camos and showing all the animations that they have. Here's that lightning animated camo. This one looks so amazing and probably one of the best. And for some of the other camos, yeah, it looks cool. But this gun is so large that these camos are not designed to go on them. So you can see how it's kind of weird and the pattern is just all over the place. This weapon looks ridiculous. Whenever you have a another weapon equipped and you've got this one on your back. It kind of goes on your side, but yeah, you can see it right there. That thing is ginormous. Whenever you're walking around, yeah, it looks pretty amusing as well. It's just kind of trying to stick to your character, but yeah, that's pretty crazy. Sometimes this giant weapon would have a mind of its own and the camo would just change colors from the orange to this blue and white. This weapon can be fired and is considered an SMG and it has a beautiful firing animation. It shoots these electric blue projectiles eight at a time and they do ricochet around and they don't have a homing ability. This weapon has the best firing sound. I'll let you guys listen. So again, this weapon is not practical whatsoever and I'll show you why. Whenever it's equipped, it's so large and trying to fit into your hand that your face is like halfway through the gun. So although amusing and interesting to look at, there's not gonna be any exploitation happening with this weapon. You can see right here that about a third of the screen is blocked and this weapon is at a level 60 and it's not doing a lot of damage. You really can't go past Mayhem 5 with this. And I really don't see a lot of people trying to obtain one of these weapons or even use it. Again, this video is just to show you guys how funny this is. I didn't know where this weapon came from, but I remember that firing pattern and it looked really familiar and I was right. It's in the Malawan takedown and it's one of the mech robots from the Valkyrie squad. I put myself next to the robot so you can see, yep, it is definitely the same weapon. And there might be some other mechs that are carrying it as well in other areas, but that I'm not too sure of. I just remember those blue orbs flying at me whenever I was in this area. I want to show you guys one of the other mech boss weapons and this one's not as big but it's still pretty large and ridiculous for our characters to be holding. It's really cool where this one comes from and I'll show you guys that in just a moment. This is also a Malawan and also classified as an SMG and the way this one fires is absolutely amazing. It rapidly fires these neon red orbs and inside these orbs are more orbs. You can't see it here. It's going too fast but it looks cool whenever you pause and look at it. And even though this weapon looks large and fires pretty crazy. It's not very powerful. You can't go past Mayhem 5 with this one just like the other one. And Mayhem 5 is really pushing it. It would probably do a little bit better even lower than that. But I think it's really funny how it looks when you have one equipped and one on your back. These things are absolutely swallowing your character. I'll show you guys where this comes from. If you've ever tried the Slaughter Star 3000 arena and gotten to the end, this thing takes forever. Then you're going to come across this giant mech robot called Red Rain. You can see the projectiles coming out of its weapon are the same as the weapon I just showed you and then right here you can see that yep it is the exact same weapon so quite the experience to get to hold and use Red Rain's giant Malawan SMG this Malawan body style is really good for putting camos on it it displays them really nicely this is a Malawan camo that's white this one is the rainbow that's called painbow it looks really good 
And then this one is definitely the best, the Psychodelic, by far amazing. I don't know of any other weapon that displays it this well. The animated lightning electric one looks really good, and then any solid color looks really awesome on it as well. This last one looks really cool. This is the most rare camo. It's got ghost animated on it, and this was from the Bloody Harvest event. The next one I'm gonna show you is the same body style, but different camo, and this is in its natural state without any camos on it. And this one shoots a cryo effect. This one's really beautiful. It shoots a spiral of white cryo stream with snowflakes and crystals. This one has a homing ability. If you're aiming at an enemy, then it will directly hit them and it won't do the spirally, but you do have to aim at them and then it will home in on them. Within this cryo stream, it's shooting out these Malawan projectiles that do explode when they hit the enemy. And this one, I had no idea where it came from, but when I was in the Valkyrie squad area of the Malawan takedown, I noticed that, yeah, one of the other mech robots was carrying this weapon. This next one also has the same body style and it has the same firing pattern, but it has a different element. It fires a spiral of a mix of cryo and incendiary, and it also has these same projectiles within this cryo stream that will home in on enemies and explode upon impact. And I don't know which mech robot this weapon belongs to. This next one, same body style, but entirely different firing pattern and I think this is one of the ones I like the most. This rapidly shoots rocket projectiles, as you can see here, and I think this might be one of the weapons from the Slaughter Star 3000. I don't remember, but if you guys recognize this, let me know. Even though this weapon looks insane That's and so overpowered, scary. it's not. This is a level 60, and again, you don't want to go past Mayhem 5 on this, and I say this like you guys are going to be using this, but I realize you're not, but I'm just letting you know what the weapon can and can't do. This last one has the same body style but different firing pattern it does a fire projectile and then rockets and it alternates between those again this was super amazing to get to experience these weapons i'm never going to use them again but i just thought it would be fun to show you guys what just happened to me this weekend but i hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next video